Hey guys, so we're going to do a little exploring together. So uh, you know I'm crazy about Vipon and all the Vipon deals. And I just happened to get this um, off-brand Ryobi OnePlus battery on Vipon. It's a 4 amp lithium. And uh, I've tested this out completely. It works 100% charges, all that. And I've been using it for a while now. I got this thing for like 10 bucks for a 4 amp hour battery. And I don't see any difference between this and uh, my actual 4 amp hour battery. So I wanted to take a look inside because I'm sure it's got cheap Chinese cells inside. Now just for note, the actual real uh, Ryobi brand batteries use LG cells. I know because I've opened them and checked. Uh, but I want to see what this one has. It's not bad. Um, I've tested it on a multimeter. It puts out, you know, 18 and a half volts. It seems to be good. It, I've used this on my driver and uh, vacuum and all that. And it seems to, I, like I did a test. I ran the vacuum for like three minutes and then checked to see how many bars versus my four amp hour, which is like identical. So, all right, let's take a look at this thing. I have not opened this. Uh, so we are going to check it out and find out together. Okay, right off the bat. These screws are much shorter. Whoa! You probably hold that, huh? All right. Uh, it's not gonna get it. So we're gonna get a screwdriver, and we'll be right back. All right. So here I was, ready to do a video about how awesome that hammerhead screwdriver is. Yep. We'll just, oops, dig out the old trusty Craftsman ratcheting screwdriver, which we really don't need to ratchet. Ooh, I bet you these are Loctite, guys. Tearing it up. They probably did. They probably Loctite of these for the reason of keeping people from seeing what's in there. All right, this is gonna take all day, so we're gonna cut and come back. You guys don't wanna watch this. We all know, lefty, loosey, righty, tidy, right? All right, so we're back. Let's take a look. See what makes this guy tick. All right, that cover comes off way easier than my Ryobi. We'll say that right off the bat. Um, let's see. Wires look to be pretty appropriately sized. That's a nice thick wire considering you're going to be putting out a lot of amps through there. So what we see is a, a hot, a ground. That green is probably for sensing the voltage. All right. The uh, leads going to the battery all look to be pretty decent in thickness. Very equivalent to my uh, Ryobi's. So let's see. Getting this out. Well, right off the bat, these purple batteries, I bet you I know exactly what they are. Broken! Nope, it's good. They're just clips. Alright, so let's take a look and see. I don't like that. The uh, I mean, it clips in, but the uh, Ryobi's are definitely more stable than that and clip in better. Um, is it a big deal? You know, not the end of the world, but um, real nice heat sink on that. That's good. Oops, hit the little button. Let's see if we can find one of these to take a look at. Okay, they're saying 7.4 watt hours. So what we're seeing is just an IRNR18650P. So no country of origin on there, at least that I can see. So we're gonna put that back. That's a little padding there. You can see it's got very good protection to make sure it doesn't have shorts. Um, that's actually better than the Ryobi's. The Ryobi has nothing over it whatsoever. So I do like that. Um, let's see, let's take a look at the soldering. Some of the soldering is very sloppy. Um, 
pretty typical. I'm not sure what's going on there, why that one's not attached. But that is interesting. It must be, oh, okay, they must have pulled the tab through and just didn't clap, uh, clip it. Um, okay, so it must be a pull through there that they go in through there and solder. Okay, I get that. All right, you can see it's held on with four screws. But yeah, these uh, INR 1850Ps, um, let's see, what are we looking at? One, two, three, ten of them. So, 7.4 watt hours. We'll do the math and we'll put an annotation in there and figure out exactly what that is. But milliamp hour, 7.4 watt hours seems pretty good. Um, but yeah, I like the way this is constructed. This really isn't uh, too bad. It looks pretty safe to me. Hopefully you guys can chime in who are a little more uh, uh, technologically savvy than me. But uh, from what I'm seeing so far, I mean, everything appears to be seems to be okay. I'm not sure exactly what that little guy is. <laughs> but yeah, the spot welds look nice and clean. Soldering looks clean. Yep. I mean, these could be clipped off, you know, but... But yeah. Yeah, so overall, it looks to be built fairly well, and it's just a matter of uh, exactly what these uh, cells are, but hopefully you'll see an annotation that'll explain it. All right. Hey, we got time. Let's put it back together. See how much of a pain that is. All right. See how bad we can screw this up. <laughs> All right, so I'm assuming this went in like this. Yep. There we go. Okay, and that would go like that. Means this will go like this. Uh, one thing to note is the uh, Ryobis have better uh, metal, you know, a lot better of a spring on that, but I mean, really, it's just to hold it in place, so. Treat this thing like your mom and jam it in there. Maybe see on the Ryobi. Hopefully, I don't rip my microphone out here, guys. Uh, the right will be the clips don't come out like that, so maybe this is a little more convenient. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That is actually better, a little better design. I mean, not that it's a, you know. All right, this is okay. I don't like that the best. You see that just pops right out. There's really nothing holding that in except that screw pressure. Um, but yeah, these definitely go to better, go uh, back together a lot easier. So we're gonna do the top one first. There we go. Yeah, it's nice, huh? Really speeds up jobs when you got one of these guys. May not be the best for torquing things out, but putting them back sure is nice. And man, did I ever tear up that one, but it's all right. Odds of me ever taking this apart again or. See the hammerhead, that's one of the things that you have to hold the work. It's kind of a pain, you know, because this is alright, there you go. That's a quick look at the uh fake Ryobi 